upper body movement. Picks his punches pretty well. Doesn't really doesn't really have a jab, which against Umaha might be a problem because Umaha has got good feet himself and tries to keep it on the outside and has got a big long reach on him too. So if this turns into some kind of fencing contest, well, Tanko will just have to make sure it doesn't, quite simply. He boxed in the World Championships, Tanko, in 2019 and the Europeans in 2017. He's not as experienced or as decorated as this man. But he did quite like the look of Tanko in the, in the previous round. I've never seen him before. Seen him half plenty. Umaha in his first fight beat Sang Leong Ham of Korea by unanimous decision. So into the first round, Umaha of France in blue, Tanko of Slovakia in red, Tanko of Southport. Umaha right hand lead there. Just kind of little stutter steps, just walked in behind it, threw it on the move. He does come up with punches from strange angles. That's what makes him a, a difficult proposition a lot of the time. And that was a good jab though, just flicked up from the waist. Tanko's got to try and get inside those long, rangy arms. That left jab, that lead right hand that he throws every now and again, did it again there on the move, just throws it, moves off to his left. Right to the body, left hook there from Umaha. Tanko is gonna try and keep that head on the move. Chopping down right hand there from Umaha. He's found his range really quickly. This is a bit ominous for Tanko. Combination on the inside there from Umaha. just having a word with Tanko about hitting after the instruction to stop boxing and with Umaha for a touch of holding. Left hand there from Tanko, that was better. Straight down the centre. One two there from Umaha, not all that clean, just a little bit kind of splayed with that right glove. Right hand to the body. Good solid shot there from Umaha Tanko. It's got more into this as the round has gone on. Umaha got off to a good, good start. As I said, he started to find his range really quickly. Good right hand there from Umaha. Takes a wide step to the left, that right to the body. He's landed a few times.
clear out there for the blue corner. Ten lines across the board, our judges from Spain, Japan, Ukraine, Argentina, Korea. So into the second. William Tanko, Slovakia in the red. Sofia Uvahar, 2017 world champion. He's in the blue, representing France. a bit high there Tanko as he came and he did land the left hand to the body but the right hand from Umaha very nearly landed hard he's got quite a long neck Tanko I remember mentioning this around his first fight a long neck for a fighter is not a good thing because it makes it more difficult to keep that chin tucked away Tanko just trying to get up close on Umeha and work to the body. Umeha with a right down the centre, nothing on it really. Just threw it on the move because he could. Nice left hand there from Umeha. He's just touching with the right hand and then it's the left that comes through with real power. And that right means that Tanko doesn't really see the left. Clever boxing. Takes the feet out quick there, Rumahar, and counters with the right hand. Tanko's doing everything he can here. There's a big golf and experience between these two. You look at what Umahar's done in his career. He would be expected to win this fight. Tanko's trying to make it uncomfortable for him as best he can. It's not really worked yet. But he should stick to this. He should persevere because... Who knows, maybe in the third round he can just get that little bit closer. Left hand from Umaha, then a the right hand. The problem Tanko's got is that pretty much every time he opens out to punch, he gets caught himself. It's not that he isn't landing. It's just that every time he does land, he gets hit. And in between times, when he doesn't land, generally Umaha does. That was a good jab there from Tanko. Good evasive work there from Umaha. Big smile from him at the end of the round. Smile's never too far away with Sofia Umaha. A good guy to have around the sport. Genuinely loves what he does. Ten eight there from the judge from Argentina. So he's got a significant lead here, Umaha. Two points with for all the judges, three points with the other one. And he'll be up against Tony Canyon. in that next round. Rig B, second time. Tom the Canyon had to track down the moving target in Bathilly. He'll have to Rig track down B, another moving target in Umaha. Umaha, though, a, a very different proposition. 
to the final round. Sofian Umahar in fight number two here in his mission to once again become Aiba world champion four years after he managed it in Hamburg. right to the body then just switched up to the head with the left Tyco just been worried warned about slapping there the left hand did did look a bit slappy actually then the right hand to the body was a decent shot climbs into an uppercut there Tanko he'll learn a lot from this he'll be a much better fighter for it even though he is going to lose this fight I think most fighters would generally tell you you learn more from defeat than you do from victories left hands just catching Tanko there there's uh, a temptation not really to analyze wins all that much just to move on from them whereas defeats well defeats hurt and it might take a while but you you bring yourself to watch the tape back and you want to work out exactly what happened Final 30 seconds. Nice combination again there from Umaha, just jinking from one foot to the other, using both hands. There's that lead right hand again as he just moves off to his left. He kind of glides off to his left, and then almost as an afterthought, as he's practically passed his opponent, just sticks it out. There goes the belt. Touch of gloves between the two. Umaha has run out a comfortable winner there. Tanko did all that he could. His first win in a world championships came in his previous fight, William Tanko. Umaha will go on to the round of. 16 where as we know he will be in with Tonda Canyon Ladies and gentlemen Rick B brings it close to the round of our 240 with the judges ruling in favour of your winner by points declared by unanimous decision to the blue corner from Brad and so far